Hey friends, so now we're gonna be talking about the mountain and the good enough parent. I know you wanna know what I'm talking about, so stay tuned, this is gonna be interesting. And the fact that we are here and you are here, even watching this tape, is that you have made up in your mind that you are not gonna give up on children. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna give up on families. You're gonna continue to uh, educate yourself and expose yourself to as much information and as many resources as you possibly can because you want the mountain to happen. You know the valleys are going to happen. Right. So you wanna be a source of resource. And you want to be able to, most of us, we want to be able to say, we're not going to measure success by whether or not you get to the peak, right? right? Because reaching the peak is not ne necessarily success. No. And Roxana, you've said it in so many wonderful ways about, you know, sometimes you don't even know you're on the mountain because you go what were you saying at one point <laughs> you go sideways you 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 go backwards you 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 know the trail is going um up and down and over the rock and then all of a sudden you look back and you're like oh what pretty high all of a sudden right I, i'm doing pretty good and then you look up and there's a long way to go because being a parent never ends right peaches we both know it it does not <laughs> and attachment is a spectrum yeah. And we all have a baseline. And as you know, with anything, it takes time to move from one direction to another. And that movement often does, does not affect our baseline. Mm -hmm. So the child matures. And here's, here's what we need to, to hear. Mm -hmm. Adults. I've never been uh, a parent. Well, I have. But possibly there is a parent out there who has never been the parent of this two-year-old. And so this two-year-old is shifting yeah. in their emotional development, in their social development, in their physical development. There is a lot of shifting happening here. And so what happens to the adults in that shifting? Mm -hmm. It's to the relationship in that shifting. How do we support this shifting to allow the attachment baseline to develop. Yeah. Yep. The parents, as you know, adults and parents, we're all constantly shifting depending on what we got going on. So I'm talking about development in the child, but as an adult, it depends on my environment. Here in St. Louis, when we're taping this, um, just yesterday, um, night before, as a matter of fact, we had a storm mm -hmm. and floods all in neighborhoods where many people that both Roxana and I know of have had flooding and um, uh, homes destroyed and cars and all of those types of things. And so, you know, if I'm in that shift of wary and concern and uncertainty, that's going to affect the relationship, mm -hmm. mental health, my lived experience, my physical health, and many other um, human aspects to the relationship are, are going to, to shift for both the child and the adult. And so again, how do we support the shifting and allow the attachment baseline to develop for each and every one of us? Yeah, yeah. Is well, and I, 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 I wonder, I often think, gosh, am I a, was I a good enough parent? I still ask that question, right? I have a 30 year old. <laughs> was I good enough? And yes, right? Bottom line, um, we, we were good enough yesterday. We were good enough in the moment. We're going to be good enough in an hour for now or tomorrow, right? We're I'm like, preach, sister. <laughs> But 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 at, I will remember, you know, when I was a parent educator, thinking about uh, kind of, you know, what it was my normal versus their normal. What was my de definition of a of a of a good enough parent? Because I held myself at pretty high standards, 
right? My, my expectations of myself as a parent were really high. I thought I had to get it all right. I had to look right. I had to do it right. I had to say it right. <laughs> and then I went home and collapsed. Um, that's life, right? But but what we got to, I think, think about what is our message to parents? You know, how do we empathetically just be with in the moments of the mountains and the valleys? Um, so I am, I'm going to go into the next slide, Peaches, and uh, talk about that good enough parent. And we both talked about this. And when we found the slide, you know, this is not a, one of our homes, okay, because mine would have toys on the floor, maybe probably some clothing articles on the floor, dishes in the sink and on the counter, right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I love what you just said, because when you talk about my normal versus, you know, their normal, I can walk into this home and go, ooh, Lord, child, she got it together. She got it all together. <laughs> Whereas if you walk into my home and like Roxana said, if there's dishes in the sink, not just the sink though, Roxana, I got dishes in the sink and the dishwasher. So I'm, I'm in between getting it right. You just got dishes. There's so much that we need to consider when it comes to how we show up. So how we show up as a parent to our children with the confidence in knowing that I am your parent and I am good enough. As Roxana said so uh, confidently and boldly, I was good enough yesterday. I am good enough today. I am good enough in this moment. Mm -hmm. and I am going to give what I have to give as much as I can and it will be fine. Yeah. And look, looking at it from the uh, adult coming in to, um, to support, again, we are there reminding ourselves that we are there not to judge, even though sometimes our judgment and our stuff may kind of bubble to the top but reminding ourselves to get in the puddle with this particular family, get in the puddle with this mom, this dad, this grandparent. We don't have the same lived experience. I didn't have to go shoe shopping and then go to the doctor's office and then work um, a full eight hours, come home, cook dinner, do this and do this by myself. I may have had help. I may have been able to call someone to do this part or that part or what have you. And so when I show up on the scene as a parent educator, reminding myself that one way to help this parent understand and live in the confidence that they are good enough is that we show up with an attitude and behavior mm -hmm. of the same perspective. Mm -hmm. They are good enough. I'm, you're not, you're not the same as the Johnsons and you don't need to be as good as the Johnsons. You're not the same as me and you don't need to be as good as me. You are absolutely fine the way you are. And I think there there's, that was a struggle. I'll, I'll speak vulnerably. That was a kind of a struggle. I'd go from one visit and, and it was more like this picture, right? And I go in the other one and, and sometimes you know, my feet were sticking to the floor and, and I couldn't find, there wasn't really a spot to sit down or to, to sit on the floor, live alone, want to, or, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of kids versus there's five, six kids rather than two kids. And so it, you know, adapting myself, um, I think, um, balancing, you know, my own experiences, my own normal, my um, and 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 not comparing from another visit um, to to build a true, genuine relationship and be totally there and present with that family that I am at right in that moment. Right was was sometimes a challenge, but that's kind of role modeling even um, for that parent. Uh, that mm -hmm. that they're 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 valued enough, you know. Um, yeah, Roxanne, I'm thinking about some of the ways that you know you've done that in the past um, for our audience. Roxana um, was and is a parent uh, educator and has had lots of experience. 
I have been in the role of parent educator without even knowing it. Mm -hmm. so, Roxana, how are some of the ways when we talk about um, building, creating, and um, modeling secure attachments, what might that look like for you on a home visit? Yeah, sometimes, it, you know, I, I think it was okay to leave my phone in the car. And sometimes it, it needed, I, I had to be aware of, of safety, right? Um, but if I knew that I was in a safe, you know, home and in an area, then I could leave my phone in the car and say, you know what, I, I left my phone in the car because I really wanted to be totally present with you. I did, don't want to be distracted by my phone. But you know, where's the clock so I can be mindful of, of the time that I'm here with you. Um, you know, just those those subtle nuances of um, of getting on the floor and and saying, "Mom, we'll wait for you while you're finishing up those dishes in the sink." Right? Uh, no, we're going to wait for you before I get anything out of my bag because you know the the important part is all of us together, right? I'm, yeah, I'm just not here for the child. We're <laughs> we're here for everyone. And I know yeah. sometimes that that that's that the expectation is, "Oh, good, your teacher's here. I'll get some things <laughs> done." Right? <laughs> right. Right. And I know I know. There has been some experiences and, you know, I, our, our audience might have had some experience where they're like, those are the families that they deal with where, where I go, the floor is dirty and there's no place to sit to model that or, you know, there's bugs or, you know, there's other things that really pose some discomfort for us as, as parent educators. And so, you know, it's easy for me to sit on this video and you to sit on this video, Roxana, and say, you know, to push through that and, you know, to really think about the importance of building this secure attachment and relationship. What, what say you to, you know, our viewer who says, you know, yeah, Roxana, that's easy for you to say. What, what do we need to remember in our hearts for real? Yeah, that, that it's, there's no perfect parents, right? And they are good enough. Child's alive today. Woo, it's a victory, right? The mom's alive today. Woo! <laughs> and maybe it is one thing that she, she did right, right? And sometimes it's hard to look for, but I think it's important to look for and even say, you know what, that is the, that's the cutest t-shirt that you put on him today. That, I just love that color on him. That, that, if that's all that you could find, that's good enough too, right? But you've got to build, it's about building that, that good relationship and building that um, parent up because all behavior has meaning. So did she get busy doing something else? So um, that, that judgment is hard.